I'm a sucker for a good USB-C monitor. I've had a couple of them in my time since I've been working in coffee shops and all that kind of stuff, but the ability to have a secondary display that hooks up with one cable is just one of those indispensable things I like having in my bag at all times. And so when Wimaxit reached out to us and said they wanted to send over their newest version of their portable monitor, I was pretty excited to check it out. So it's come in today, we wanna to take a look. But before we get in the box, today's video is brought to you by NordVPN. They are the VPN of choice for millions and millions of users because they're just the best at doing it. It'll work on your Chromebook, it'll work on your Android device, on uh, Windows devices, on iOS, and all that kind of stuff. If you'd like to learn more about how to secure your browsing activity while you're online, go to chromeunbox.com forward slash NordVPN and you can get started today. All right, so let's get into this thing. Why Max it portable monitor? And if you've never heard of Why Max it, that's okay. I've never heard of them either. Full disclosure here, I did open this up and at least go to plug it in because, you know, I've never heard of Why Max it. So I wanted to make sure the thing worked before we started filming a video about it. And two of the things that we're super excited about with this particular device is the fact that it's a touch screen and the fact that it's got all kinds of ports for all kinds of different scenarios. Usually it's one USB-C port and that's it for these portable monitors. This one's got some flexibility going on here and then it's touchscreen. And so we wanna see how that really gets along with uh, Chrome OS. Now, like I said, I opened it up earlier when I did so, this part of the case kind of acts as the, the foot uh, to, to stand it up. And when I bent it fully, it creased here and it lost all of its uh, flexibility and uh, anything that would hold it in place. So we put some gaffer tape on here. I've been in contact with Ymax it already because as soon as that happened, I sent them an email and said, hey, this case is no good at all. And they've uh, confirmed that they are shipping a different case with these that come from Amazon. So they fixed that problem and they sent me one with the older case. So hopefully that won't be an issue. So we've got all aluminum uh, casing here, uh, nice and firm feeling, glass, 15.6 uh, inches, again, touchscreen. And then along the sides, we've got these uh, nice clicky buttons. So you got your power, volume up and down because there are speakers on the back of here. They're small um, and probably don't sound great, but they're there. So that's, again, another added bonus. You've got a micro USB-C, so you can put uh, like an on-the-go cable here and you could hook up, say, a mouse, keyboard, that kind of stuff here. And it can go straight through here, straight to your device via the USB-C. You've got input selection. We'll show you why here in just a second. Uh, menu for you know image adjustment, all that kind of stuff. Plus and minus for your volume and a power button. And then on the other side, we've got a couple HDMI's. So you could actually run multiple sources into this thing and actually flip back and forth between them. Type C is where you're gonna go with your single cable that's gonna just hook up the simplest way to your device. And then you can do a separate power if you want to. So if you're gonna be hooked in for a while and you don't want this thing sucking all your laptop's battery, then you can actually run power into it separately and it'll power itself from the wall. And then you've got your headphone jack out here as well. So if it makes more sense, maybe in your setup to run headphones from here versus your uh, device, or if your device doesn't have a headphone jack on it, say you're on an iPad or you're on the Pixel Slate or something like that, then now you have a headphone jack here as well. So this thing actually extends uh, your, your abilities in quite a few ways. So let's see what else is in the box. We've got some cables. So type C to type C. So this is gonna be the cable that'll hook straight from device to monitor. This is all you need if, if a portable display is what you're after. Uh, we've got cloth and some books in here. I mean, it's pretty straightforward what we're dealing with here. So this is a mini HDMI, the regular. So if you were going to HDMI, you could go to one of those ports there. If you want, you're not gonna get any power over that. So you'd have to use the power, which is here. So this is a USB A to C cable. And this is the block ostensibly, yep. So uh, Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0. So actually a nice charging block in there as well. This would probably, I don't know if this would power your Chromebook that much, but 3.0 Quick Charge probably pushes enough from the wall uh, to get you by if you needed a little bit of a top up on your Chromebook while you're at it. So I'm gonna take all of this stuff and move it out of frame. And we're gonna keep the C to C cable up here. And again, like I said, the case on here isn't the best see if it's going to kind of stand here we're not going to take too long here all i really want to do is show you out of the box not powered on not set up i take a cable 
We're going to hook it into the Type C port. We're going to plug it into this Chromebook. Comes on, extend screen, bam, up and running. And let's see, and it's already set up. And the benefit here to having touch is if you're over here working, typing, doing whatever, and you just need to reach over here and adjust something, change something, move something. Instead of moving your mouse cursor over here and scrolling or whatever, you can just reach over and touch. And so it should just work. And yep, because it's, you know, Chrome OS and it just works. So no drivers, nothing to install. And yeah, everything's working just like you'd expect it to on a touch screen. So that feels just native, just like it would if I were reaching over here and touching uh, the screen on the Asus. So very cool indeed. Um, you've got a couple options, like I said, if, if you wanted to, you know, set up for a longer period, you could hook that, that other USB-C in here and get some power. And then if you wanted to use HDMI for some other input sources and switch sources, you can do all that kind of stuff. But what we're really, really excited about here is that we have a portable monitor that takes one cable. It's got its own stand. Hopefully the one that comes will be better than this one here. You can already see it's kind of slipping around a little bit, but you also have touch over here and that's just really cool. And honestly, the display looks great. It's it, it's standing toe to toe here with the Asus. And that's just not the case with other portable monitors we've tried. They've been dim and you know, they're anti-glare, but they kind of have a fuzzy look to them and all that stuff. This is glass, uh, touch screen. The colors look really good. The, the brightness looks really good. And I'm just impressed thus far. I'm going to spend some more time with it um, and give you some better thoughts and kind of a more full thought out review. But I just wanted to get this thing on camera as we get it out of the box because as it came in the mail and I started thinking about having a portable display that I could reach out and touch and use, I was kind of excited about it and I figured some of you all would be too. We're going to drop the link uh, to the Amazon store where this can be found. I think it's about 260, 270, something like that. And if, if you're already looking at it and going, hey, I want to get that, uh, the link will be there for you to grab it. Uh, if, if you're not sure about it just yet, give us a little bit of time. We'll, um, we'll do uh, some further testing on this thing and we'll get back with a full review. Again, hopefully once we have the proper case in hand and the entire experience tested in a real world scenario for at least a handful of days. But guys, that's it for this one. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, hit that subscribe button down below and until next time, we'll see you.